Today is Saturday, September 2nd. Sorry, I said it with a T. Today is Saturday, September 2nd. David's avoiding trees. And we are right now in Dallas. We're on our way to a jazz festival and really excited about it. I have actually never been to a music festival before, so he's the expert on this one because I'm just like, I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. I just wanted to go hear some music. So really excited for it and looking forward to my first experience at a festival. So we'll check in later. Ended on a myth, but uh, it started off really good, and that made up for the rest of the day, honestly. Yeah, I agree. I really enjoyed it. The food I had was good. I had me a taco bowl. We had I had a salmon steak. A salmon steak. steak. Just, just, just salmon. salmon. That's it. With fourteen dollars. Yeah, mine was fifteen. Uh, I ate everything. It was a good salmon steak, <laughs> but I thought these was gonna come with, you know. A chip or two. Okay. Or yeah. But, Damn. Uh, yeah. It was just meat. Meat in the fork. Yeah. And then we spent most of our day, well, I think, I think we spent most of our time at the Up and Coming Artist, mm -hmm. which was the young, like the teenager and the ch small, young children. Yep. Young. Yeah. 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 Uh, so Island. they have a, a summer camp or a summer program and they came out and they performed their songs. They were great. It was very entertaining. Mm -hmm. And then we waited an hour. No, no, no. We waited longer than that. Yeah. Layla Hathaway was an hour and 10 minutes late for her set. And I think she went on for all of like 10 to 15 minutes. So, yay. Yeah. But yeah, we're leaving now. We were nodding off and falling asleep the whole time. Before she got out there and while she was out there, we were just like, we need to walk around. So we left. We enjoyed the set. It was really good. She sounds fantastic. It's just the fact that she was an hour and 10 minutes late and then never addressed it. Never was like, oh, sorry, y'all, I'm late, or apologized, or even like made a joke about it. Just completely ignored it, like nothing happened, and then left. So that's, that's that on that, I guess. Peace. Good morning. Today is Friday, September eighth. It is nine forty-one a.m., and I'm actually on my way to get my nails done. And much, much, much needed nail appointment starting off my day early today because I actually fly out tonight in literally 12 hours I'll be flying out to the west coast so I didn't want to be flying with my nails all messed up uh, not only because they look bad but also because they're lifting and just it, that's dangerous so on my way to the nail shop get my nails done and run a couple errands then come back uh, clock in do some work and then be off to the west coast all right so this is the inspo for today yes it is a printed picture because it makes it easier for me rather than like showing them my phone i just have a picture just sitting there on the desk for them to refer to um, throughout the entirety of the appointment so this is the inspo this of course, I'm going to change it up because I always change it up. I never copy exactly what it says. And as you can see, the original nail person or nail artist, this is Nails by Vaughn, I believe. So that's the original person. And I'm just going to take this inspo and just kind of use it as inspiration. I, that's what inspo means. But yeah, I'm going to take this picture and give it to the nail tech and then kind of change it up a little bit. But this is basically what I'm going for. Just some nice, simple line work. So these are the finished product for my nails. I like them a lot, they're really cool. It's actually a couple days later, but I was able to see them under black light and it looks really cool when they glow. They look like 
neon. It's it like radiation. It's really, really cool to see them glow under black light. But yeah, this is the final product. It looks kind of futuristic, kind of tribal, if you will, but very like simple and minimalistic. I love the contrast of the neon orange against like the subtle gray. Yeah, definitely a cool color combo. I like that. Today is Sunday, March 10th, and we are in San Pedro, California, and we are now on our way. We're waiting for an Uber to come, but we are on our way. This door will not stay open. We are on our way to Disneyland again after we just went like in March but that was March it's it's September now it's time to go back again so I'm excited and we'll check in later zoomed completely in on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Yeah, no, keep it zoomed in. Pink the pumpkin. I'm zoomed in again, dog on it. Ah! Okay, there we go. The pumpkin. It's right over. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I know you can see me. Hi. Hey guys, have a great night. We got our friends back there. Uh -huh. Bye, friends. Will we meet again? <laughs> and then across the way, we got Disney California Adventure over there looking spooky. Oh. He's talking to us. Okay, hello. So today is Monday, September 11th, and I'm actually checking out of my hotel and I'll be flying back to Texas this evening. One thing I didn't do was actually show the room that I'm in. So, backstory. Booked this hotel a couple weeks ago and I happen to be like a club member or whatever. <laughs> I happen to be a rewards member. When I booked the hotel in the notes, I requested a high floor just because I like being up on an upper floor. That's my preference, I like the view. Also, it tends to be quieter on the upper floors. Anyway, so when I came into the hotel, checked in, signed all the paperwork, and went through the long spiel with the clerk, I'm gonna say the hotel clerk. I don't actually know the name, sorry. I remember them kind of saying, and I see you booked a suite, and then they just told us, you know, what breakfast was, they gave us our cards, whatever. And then we head to the elevators, we go up, we get to our room, and I open the door, 
And now I'm gonna flip the camera over so that you can better understand the next part of the story. So we flip, the, we open the door and this is what we find. It's just, it's a wall, a long wall. And there's a desk at the end. It was dark because we checked in late. We checked in late, uh, so there was no lights or anything. So my partner went ahead of me and I was just like, hey, you know, what's it look like over there? Is the room actually that big or is it just like some weird wall that just so happens to be at the entrance? And he was just like, well, I don't see a bed yet. And at that point I was like, hold on. So I left my bag at the, like, at the front door, like right at the entrance. And I just went to run around the corner because I'm like, what is going on? So let me show you what's going on. So here is the front door here. You walk in and you're met with a console table, a mirror and a lamp and this big wall. I can't zoom out any further, but you're met with this wall and right here, is a closet there's like a coat closet here and then you walk this way and you see desk and then you turn this way you're just like holy crap there is no bed <laughs> where's the bed um you see there's a lot of windows and then you turn to the left and you see there's a wet bar and it's like okay that's great and then you keep going and then to your left there's the bedroom and then it clicked like oh I get it now. So somehow, I was put in a suite. I did not book a suite at all. I promise you I didn't. I checked my receipt and my confirmation. Well, not my receipt, because I haven't received that yet because I haven't checked out. But I checked my confirmation several different times. I did not book a suite. So I got upgraded to a suite without even asking. They just put me in the suite. Now, before that sounds like an amazing thing, it's a suite that's cool. I'm happy with it. A lot of great space, a lot of room. The only thing is, it's <laughs> it wasn't really an upgrade. It was more like a lateral grade because the hotel is a bit older. So, and then I went online also to check like the difference between the room that I actually booked and the room that I ended up with. And it's missing a whole dining room with tape. I'm sorry, not dining room. It's, it's missing a whole dining table and the chairs. So this empty space right here, right in this area here, I'm pretty sure that's where the dining table is supposed to go, which would have been nice. It would have been nice to eat at a dining table. But, you know, it's still like, it was a surprise. It was a huge surprise, but it was a lateral, a lateral grade, not an upgrade. So yeah, it was just kind of funny. Cause I'm just like, yeah, we got upgraded, but the upgrade was like upgraded to like 2011 because it's so out of date and they're just kind of some weird kind of choices like the fact that a whole dining room table was missing or like where the tv is the tv's right there it's normally faces the tv is normally parallel so it's like this typically that's how it comes but of course it was flipped towards the bed to watch TV from the bed. So that's kind of funny. And it's not like, oh, it swivels. No, you like scoop the whole thing around. It doesn't like have a swivel in it because it's an old TV. And then there's the fridge, which is just floating in the corner here, like of the conversation area, which is right here. Yeah, and then this ice bucket here on the table. There was no place to get ice because apparently they're getting new ice machines and who knows when that's gonna happen so we couldn't use the ice. Not that big of a deal, I guess. And the, oh, the room comes with two thermostats. So here's the first one here and then not even that far away, right over here on this wall is the second thermostat. So thermostat here, thermostat right around the corner. Honestly, the room is big, but it would make way more sense if the other thermostat was actually put in the bedroom, uh, which does not have a door. I don't know if you noticed that. There is no door to the bedroom. It just, it's an open concept. So it goes from the front door to the desk area, to the empty area that should have a dining table, to the conversation area, to the bedroom. Now, thankfully the bathroom does have a door. So that works pretty well, but it sticks because again, this place is older. So, I'm gonna show you the bathroom. This is the bedroom. The bedroom does have a closet right here. But yeah, here's the bedroom. Not bad, it was very, very quiet while we were here, you know, so that was nice. But here's the bathroom here. So pretty standard, you know, clean, 
work just fine. I like the light up vanity that helps a lot. And I love when they have like this uh, mirror here on the side. So that helps. But the tub was funny because look at how this tub is so deep. It's so freaking deep. Like the way I have to swing, the way I have to swing my leg over the ledge to get in here is ridiculous. Let me show you. I don't even know if I can show how deep this tub is. The tub comes up to my my knee. The tub is as tall as my knee. That's not a normal bathtub. I don't know if you can see that. Like, here's my knee, here's the tub. It's right there, it's right there. So I'd have to like really pick my leg up <laughs> to get in there just to shower. But yeah, this is the shower here. Comes with, you know, the normal amenities, thank goodness that they have that. Very strong fragrance. But yeah, this is, this is the room. The view leaves somewhat to be desired. Leaves some to, something to be desired, you know, you got a nice view of the trash. Uh, and the harbor is over there in the distance, but it's extremely overcast. It's actually like 10 something in the morning, but it looks like 7 p.m. It's just really, really overcast right now. But yeah, that is, I don't know, that's, that's the room. <laughs> and interesting story, I just thought that was, funny that you know I booked one room but was upgraded or lateral graded to a suite and it was an interesting it had character that's for sure it had character that bathtub or something else but other than that I mean it was a, it was a nice short stay if you know it's great for two people who are in town and have to work and have to work remotely because there's plenty of space to work so that's nice but yeah that is my hotel room that I stayed in that I'll be checking out soon and I'll check in at another time. Peace.